Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for January 20, 2023, the Moore Supreme Court Corruption Edition. We begin with that story as the Supreme Court, having investigated itself after having leaked the draft of the Roe versus Wade opinion, can't come up with a leaker. Really? No surprise there. Uh, the way the court has gone through this and their opaqueness of anything coming close to ethics uh, really demonstrates that John Roberts has completely lost control of this court. It's going down the road of corruption, and it's going to put itself in the position where no one trusts it going forward. So, next up, from The Verge, the first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, Elon Musk's tweets take center stage in the opening day of his funding secured trial. Elon Musk tweets and regular people watch their fortunes evaporate. That was the argument uh, put before a jury uh, representing a class of Tesla investors. And guess what? It's true. Um, There's no excuse for what he did. He tweeted funding secured when he didn't have it. Even if he believed he had it, he didn't have it. And it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Next up from Reuters. Uh, More bad news for Fox as an Argentinian businessman testified Wednesday that two former 21st century Fox executives in a sports marketing company conspired with him to bribe South American soccer officials and secure lucrative broadcasting rights. He told jurors that uh, Herman Lopez, Carlos Martinez, and Full Play Group SA paid bribes to secure below market contracts, suppress competition, and cultivate relationships. Uh, this uh, is part of the never-ending corruption from our friends at FIFA, and this trial is a huge black eye for Fox and the former Fox affiliate or former Fox business unit, 21st uh, Century Fox. So more bad news coming out for Fox. And our final story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Mingi Sun and Alexander Osipovich reporting that U.S. authorities have designated the cryptocurrency exchange Bits Lotto as a primary money laundering concern and charged its founder for allegedly facilitating money laundering. The designation came uh, was made rather under the Patriot Act, and um, this type of action is rarely used. Um, because it's so-called death knell sanction that cuts off the entity from the U.S. financial system. It's been mainly used in banks uh, in the past. This lotto is based in Hong Kong, but operates globally. And once more, we see a crypto exchange really uh, either not paying attention, actively engaging in money laundering, or frankly, just didn't care. And they just don't get it. So maybe they will going forward. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.